Hey guys, Mark Rizzotto here. I've got Catherine Katanak from New Zealand. Yep. Whereabouts in New Zealand are you I'm from? I'm based here in Wellington actually, so oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. I have to walk that. down the hill to get here each morning. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah. How long have you been a photographer for? Um, I've been a photographer for about 10 years. I was actually yep. a financial journalist before that, so um, What is a, a financial change. journalist? Uh, you know, like Reuters and Bridge, um, Dow Jones Wire Agencies, Bloomberg. Um, wow. So reporting on financial markets, which was quite um, full on and yeah, quite an extreme change, and I made a lot more money as a financial journalist, and I'm a lot happier as a photographer. Yeah, <laughs> cool. What do you shoot? Um, people mainly is uh, what really ticks the boxes. Used to be weddings, so I'm dialing back on those now, doing yep. a lot more portraits, and um, uh, dialing back has helped me to um, have a bit more time to do some personal work. So I'm doing a lot of um, botanical stuff in my oh, wow. new, uh, Fuji medium format camera and uh, selling that through art shows and stuff and actually able to make a bit of money out of that which is pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, well, I, I'm going to go backwards a little bit. Yeah, yeah. How did you go from financial industry into photography? Uh, what was that transition? That's a great question. Um, I gave birth to the most beautiful children ever invented and yep. um, somebody had to document that beauty. Alright. Yeah, so I started photographing my kids. I you am, are I'm the an original MWAD. I'm an <laughs> You're an MWAD. You're an so, MWAD that actually got successful and actually yeah, made a business out of it. So I'm self-taught and I just um, I just think this day and age all the information that you need is out there oh. on the internet and you know creative live just if you've got the passion. It's, totally. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been photographing your kids for that? Well I've kind of stopped now because they, they got a bit boring. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, old are they though? They are 14 and 16 now. Cool. Yeah. How much easier would it be now mm. to be a photographer now starting up with all that edu education, mm. all the creative live, all the yeah. platforms than it was when we started 14, Absolutely. 15 years yeah, ago? Yeah, there's no excuse, you know, just, just find that passion and run with it because yeah, you can do it. You can listen to podcasts, you can be learning while you're driving and yeah, just, just do it and then get out there and just shoot and shoot and shoot and yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So what? So I guess what advice would you give? What would Catherine today go back and tell Catherine 14 years ago and go, hey, this is what you should know. If you want to be a successful photographer, this is the information that you need to hear. I'm imagining quite a few people have probably said this, but um, when you go with your heart, your audience will find you. The right people will find like you. That. If you put your the stuff that you're passionate out in front of people, they're going to respond, it's going to resonate with people, it doesn't need to resonate with everybody, so don't try to second guess your market and do what you yeah. think is needed, if you just do it from the heart, they will come to you. That is awesome advice, so <laughs> photographers or wannabe photographers or new photographers out there, listen to that because that is awesome <laughs> advice, good job. Cool. Thanks yeah. guys, Thanks, bye bye.